Hi everyone, welcome back to Technon Tech TV. In this tutorial, I will show you how to draw an ER diagram for online shopping management system or how to draw ER diagram for e-commerce websites. So if you don't know what is ER diagram and what are the components of ER diagram, then I have added the video link on the upper right corner of your screen. So watch that video first. So ER diagram for online shopping management is a visual presentation of entities and relationships of online shopping management or e-commerce database and tables. So here I'm taking nine entities, shopping website or e-commerce website, product category, product, admin, supplier, tracking details, order, customer and payment. Now let's define the relationship between all these entities. So first is admin and shopping website entity. So admin manage e-commerce or shopping website. Uh, admin has a full control over the each and every section of the website. So I am adding manage relation here. Next shopping website has different product category and product category has different products. Next we have entities supplier and product. There are many suppliers who list their product on the shopping portal. So here I'm adding relation supplies. So supplier supplies product and customer make or place order on website. And after placing order, they can also make payment and order contains different product. And also order has uh, tracking details from which customer can track their order after placing on website. And we can also add one more entity here that is cart entity. So let's uh, shift supplier entity little bit. And here I'm adding entity cart with the relation added to. So customer add product into cart also. So these are the relationships which I have uh, defined in these uh, 10 entities. Now let's see the cardinality ratio between these entities. One admin can manage only one shopping or e-commerce website at a time. And one shopping website have uh, lots of product category and under one product category there are many products. And uh, one supplier supplies many products. Next is cart and product. So we can add many products in one cart and one customer can place many order. And if customer are placing many orders, then they also have to do payment for uh, different orders. So one customer can make many payments and one order contains uh, many product and one order has many tracking details because we have ordered many products in one transaction so for different products tracking id will be different so one order has many tracking details so this is the cardinality ratio between these entities now come to the attributes for entity shopping website we have three attributes website name website url and contact number and here website name is the key attribute you can also make website url as the key attribute next is admin entity for this also i am taking three attributes admin id admin name and role and here admin id is the key attribute next is product category for this we have only two attributes category id and name and here category id is the key attribute now let's see the attributes for entity product for this first is product id this is the key attribute here then we have product name next is product price and product status product status is to check whether product is available or not next we have customer entity for this first attribute is customer id this is the key attribute next is attribute name so here basically i am using composite attribute so we have break down the name attribute into two sub attributes that is first name and last name and we have used a multi-valued attribute for uh, contact number because one user can have uh, various contact numbers next is address attribute here user address is a composite attribute as an address is composed of other attributes such as pin code state country next we have entity payment so for this i am taking three attributes payment number payment date 
payment amount and here payment number is the key attribute next let's see the attribute for entity order so for this also we have three attributes order number order date and amount and here order number is the key attribute and next is uh, tracking details entity here we have two attributes uh, tracking number and courier name and tracking number is the key attribute now let's see the uh, attribute for supplier entity first attribute is supplier id this is the key attribute next is supplier name and address and last we have entity card for this we have three attributes product id quantity and size so product id is the key attribute here so this is how you can draw an er diagram on different topics so this is just an example you can add various entities and different attributes according to you i have also added the playlist in the description and also on the upper right corner of your screen like how you can draw er diagram on different topics so that's it for this video if you have any doubt comment us below and if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos Thank you.